Hi guys, welcome to Good Living Daily, the channel that's all about helping you live your best life possible. My name's Chester and today I have something really, really, really exciting to share with you. And it is a success formula that comes to us from the late, great Jim Rohn. Now yes, you'd be forgiven if you haven't heard the name Jim Rohn before. I myself hadn't heard the name Jim Rohn up until only a few years ago, when my father actually recommended several of Jim's books and audio programs to me. But trust me, if you haven't heard of Jim Rohn before, he was the greatest name in personal development that you have never heard of. So let me tell you a little bit about Jim, his life, and why we should all be listening more to his words and his teachings. And then we'll get on to his own personal formula for success. Okay, so Jim Rohn was a highly successful entrepreneur and businessman who then went on to write books, coach, teach, and inspire people all across the world, including some of the biggest names in personal development today, such as, I'm going to name drop a few names here, T. Harv Eker, Brian Tracy, Jack Canfield, Darren Hardy, all highly successful businessmen, authors, you name it, and of course the amazing Tony Robbins. These guys all credit Jim Rohn for their success and they've all used this formula for success that I'm about to share with you, along with thousands of other people, successful men and women all across the world. This really is it, this really is exciting and I hope, are you as excited as I am right now? I'm buzzing. Okay, so let's get into it. I want to do this as much justice as I possibly can. Of course, I can never share it as well as Jim shared it himself and I would highly recommend you checking out Jim's books, audio programs and you can even find some of his teachings and lessons on YouTube now, which is fantastic. So, with that being said, let me try and do this justice. Jim Rohn's formula for success. Now, Jim used to teach it like this. Just before he shared his formula for success, he used to share his formula for failure. Why? Because the two are inextricably linked. They're very closely related. In fact, they're two sides of the same coin. Flip the coin one way and you're heading down the road of failure. Guys, we're not gonna head down that road today. We're gonna flip the coin the other way and head straight down the road to success and life transformation. That's what we're all about here at Good Living Daily. That's what Jim Rohn was all about. He embodied health, happiness, success, living our best lives possible. So let's get straight into it. Here we go, Jim Rohn's formula for failure. Listen to this and then don't do this. Don't follow these steps, okay. A few errors in judgment repeated every day. A few errors in judgment repeated every day. Now, Jim used to use this example. We've all heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? You've heard that. Well, what if you made an error in judgment and instead of eating the apple, you chose a chocolate bar a day? Now, yes, this seems pretty simple, pretty easy to overlook, right? A chocolate bar instead of an apple for a day or two probably won't kill you. But if you ate a chocolate bar over an apple for, say, six years, that adds up, accumulates to what Jim used to call accumulated disaster. It can truly have a huge impact on your health and therefore your life. Now, Jim Rohn also used to say this, if, for example, someone has bad debt, then more than likely they will have high cholesterol. Why? Because if they're not focusing on one area of their life, of their health, of their success, then their chances are they're not gonna be focusing on other areas too. So these simple errors in judgment that are easy to overlook, they add up, they compound, and they expand and affect every single area of your life and your success. But what can we do? We're not gonna make errors in judgment, are we guys? We're gonna choose the 
chocolate bar. No, we're going to choose the apple, not the chocolate bar, of course, at Good Living Daily. But what can we do? We can replace those errors in judgment with, and here is the magic, a few simple disciplines practiced every day. A few simple disciplines practiced every day. That is the formula for success. Now, yes, I, I can hear what you're thinking. This isn't incredibly exciting. This isn't sexy. It almost seems like it won't be life-changing, but stick with me. I'm gonna delve into a little bit more detail about how this formula is so powerful. Okay, so guys, what can we do? How can we flip the coin and head down the road to success? Well, we can replace those simple errors in judgment with, and here's the magic, a few simple disciplines practiced every day. A few simple disciplines practiced every day. Now, yes, I can hear what you're thinking. This doesn't sound incredibly exciting, incredibly sexy, I know, but stick with me. I'm gonna delve into this formula and show you exactly how it can transform all of our lives. But first, let me give you some examples. What could this look like? Well, you could, for example, get up a little bit earlier every day. You could, as soon as you do get up, make your bed. What's this doing? This simple discipline is setting the tone for the rest of your day. You're building foundations of productivity and therefore success. And that's going to echo throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year, throughout the rest of your life. Now research tells us, as another example, if you chose, made a simple discipline decision, chose a healthy breakfast, you're much less likely to choose then an unhealthy lunch or snack or evening meal. So that discipline decision really does echo and set the tone for the rest of the day. Give it a try tomorrow. What else? Okay, number two, we are ingraining good, no, great habits. So research tells us on average that it takes approximately 66 days to ingrain a new habit. So let's take that example again of getting up early, making the bed, well, you could do that for 66 days, and then, if you want to, you could dedicate more time to a new habit, cultivating something else that you want to improve and add to your life. Now, I love the analogy of a plane taking off from the runway as forming a new habit. We know this, guys, don't we, that forming a new habit takes an incredible amount of energy, time, and, of course, discipline. But once it is ingrained in our subconscious, we're cruising and it's like that with a plane. Imagine a really, really, really heavy jumbo jet. Imagine the weight of that plane and imagine the energy it takes to get that plane up off the runway. It's incredible. But once it's at its optimal altitude, the pilots can sit back, maybe grab a coffee, hopefully not a gin and tonic, maybe a coffee, flick on autopilot, and they just simply cruise that plane to its destination. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put in some effort and some hard work at the start, but then habits take over. We don't even need to think about it. You'll be getting up early, making your bed without even noticing. And guys, you'll be cruising to your destination, which is of course, success and a healthy, happy life. Then, as I say, you can, if you want to, dedicate some time to creating other habits and looking at other areas of your life, which will, of course, add up over time, snowball, create momentum, and compound, which is the third principle of this amazing success formula, compounding. Now, Albert Einstein referred to compounding or the compound effect as the eighth wonder of the world. Why? Because it truly is that powerful and it can absolutely have a huge impact on your life and help transform your life to health, happiness, success. So by starting off small, 
you won't see any, any improvements for a while. Let's take the uh, example of a penny doubling for a month. If you double a penny, the next day you'll have two pennies. The next day you'll have four pennies. Now this is quite slow increments, isn't it? Most people will lose interest, not see the results they desire and quit. But we're not going to, we're gonna follow through with these disciplines because at day 10, with that penny, you'll now have five pounds. Still maybe not so exciting. Day 20, you're going to have 5,000 pounds. But then compounding really kicks in. It's really going to turbocharge and growth quickly becomes exponential. We're heading to the sky with this. Day 31, at the end of your month, you started off with one penny, you've now got 10 million pounds. That is the power of compounding, and that's how a small, simple discipline that's easy to do, incredibly easy not to do, and really easy to overlook, can compound over time and accumulate and truly transform your life. And then it will expand into all other areas of your life. So guys, whatever commodity you would like to cultivate, you would like more of in your life, happiness, love, money, friendship, whatever it is, you can truly attract that with this formula. Now, Jim Rohn used to say this, to make sure that we follow through with these disciplines, to make sure that we're doing them every single day, we need to change our thinking. We need to change our personal philosophy. How? Well, through reading, through listening, and through study. Jim used to say this, if you want more happiness, which we all want, right? If you want more happiness, you have to study happiness. Happiness is not an accident. It is first a study and then it is an action. So study those who are happy, emulate what they do and make happiness your one focus and then you can focus on other things in your life. So guys, I hope that you've been inspired to learn more about Jim Rohn, possibly buy one or two of his books, look at his audio programs, look at his videos on YouTube. He really was an amazing, amazing man who embodied health, happiness, success, well-being, and living our best lives possible, which is why I'm such a huge fan of Jim Rohn, but also because today, to this day, even though Jim sadly died in 2009, he is still regarded as one of the greatest public speakers of our time. So if you're into public speaking, I would highly recommend heading over to YouTube and checking out some of Jim's speeches. But guys, I want to leave you with this. My favorite ever Jim Rohn quote that has had a massive impact on my life and my personal philosophy. And it is this. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Thank you.